guys welcome back to my channel my name is Alicia in today's video I'm so excited we are going to be demoing and reviewing the new ColourPop the Mandalorian palette now I do have the one that came out before this the child and this one is so much fun as well um, so this is the color story on this one here it is compared to this year's palette as you can tell there are these palettes are very very different um i could see even using these two together though as well now that i'm holding them up beside each other but these retail for 16 dollars, and i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys some swatches So this is the Mandalorian palette, all swatched out. As you can tell, it is very like earthy tones, neutrals, some cooler tones in there as well. Um, it comes with mattes, mattes with shimmer, and then of course your metallic shades. Now the metallics obviously swatch the best per usual, um, but the only one that I would say I would say these two kind of didn't swatch the best. I'm going to use these two on my eyes though, so you will see how those perform. But yeah, this is the color story here. This is the box that it comes in, and as you can tell, the palette itself looks exactly the same. You've got your colors on the back here. Um, ColourPop always kills it with the packaging. They also always keep the price point pretty low. Um, and then of course you can always use coupons on top of that when it comes to Ulta or um, promo or discount codes online. So, um, I mean, you really can't beat the price in my opinion. And most of the time these shadows perform really well. So we're gonna go ahead and see how these work out for us doing this makeup look so let's go ahead and get into it so I thought I was filming that whole time and apparently I wasn't so as you can tell you already see the look that I'm trying to do here um but yeah basically all I have on so far is just my moisturizer and then I did prime my lids with my MAC Painterly paint pot so now that I've already got one eye done and we're doing the second one on camera do you have some thoughts on this palette I'm going to go ahead and go into this blender brush like I did with the first eye just to see. Um, but I'm going in with this color here and you can see all that kick up. This is the color Mythosaur. And I'm just going to put this into the crease. Now I'm just using windshield wiper motions and... Yeah, it is doing the same crap. So look at that, how it's blending out. Do you see how it's sticking down in some areas and then not at all in others? I wanted to see if like with my eye primer being set down for longer, if it made any difference, um, even though this eye primer usually gives me no issues at all. But I figured, what the heck, let's see. Um, and no, it's not my eye primer. It's doing the same thing on this eye. Now, in general, grays usually are tougher for me. And as you could tell, I just switched brushes. This natural hair brush <clears throat> does seem to work better for me on this palette. But yeah, I... um. ColourPop is usually one of those brands that just across the board kind of works really nicely for me. I usually don't have any issues. I usually don't really have to work with their shades at all. So now that I've got that color kind of applied down where I want and then still you see like right here how there's no pigment right there. Like what the hell guys i really love this show um but so far this palette honestly has been pretty tough to work with 
and maybe it's just the colors that I'm trying. I'm sure if I used the browns in this palette, I'd probably have a different story to tell you here, but I really did want to use the more difficult shades to work with just to see how this palette was going to perform. All right, I'm going to use that same brush and I'm going to go into This Is The Way, which is this gray color here. And I'm just going to apply that on the inner and the outer lid. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with my finger. And that this silver is so nice such a nice silver but I'm gonna put that on with one finger and then with a clean finger I'm just kind of tapping on the edge just to blend that in and I'm gonna kind of rotate back and forth with that once or twice just to get a nice blend in there all right now I'm gonna take this fluffy brush again and I'm gonna go into Bantha Tracks, which is this like peachy tone up here. And basically I'm going to try to use this to blend this gray into my skin tone. And I'm just using windshield wiper motions. And I'm pressing pretty hard, to be honest with me, because this gray just does not want to blend, which is not, you know, not what I'm used to with ColourPop shadows. All right. Yeah, but you see how it's like kind of skippy over there? This just honestly and then it looks like muddy over here this palette already looks pretty freaking worn like you see all that just from not even creating one makeup look so i'm i'm such like a neat freak i'm kind of cleaning my palette here um But yeah, so not a great first impression for me at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. We'll see how the finished look is. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead, clean up the eye look, do the rest of my makeup, and then we'll come back for the lower lash line and final thoughts. All right, guys, I am back. I've got on the rest of my makeup. So I'm just going to run you guys through what I've got on the rest of my face. I've got on the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Hydro Foundation. I have mine in the shade 1.0 and I mixed in the Prince Illuminator with this. If you saw my review of this, I freaking love it. And I also have this on as a highlighter as well. And then for my concealer, I used my classic Tarte Shape Tape, and I have mine in the shade 12N. I set everything down with, again, this is from the Prince Collection with Urban Decay um, that I did a video on yesterday, but this is just the uh, all-nighter waterproof setting powder is what this is. It's just in limited edition packaging. So I set my makeup down with that. For the bronzer, I used the Kylie Cosmetics. This is the khaki bronzer. This was before she reformulated it. Um, but I do love her bronzer in general. And then NARS, I pulled out again my Overlust palette. And again, I dipped into this shade right here, which is Let It Burn. I put a little bit of this, which is tied up this highlighter. And that is what I have under the brow bone. And I think that gets us pretty much caught up. I did line my upper and lower waterline with this Smashbox. This is just the black eyeliner and the shade is actually fishnet. This is a really, really good eyeliner. So creamy, goes on, stays on, love it. You can smudge it out. Such a, such a good one. All right, 
Now, I think I'm going to go into this little angled brush here and I'm going to go into Mythosaur, which was that first shade we used. I'm going to tap this off because we've already got on our base and I'm going to get right up to the lash line and I'm just smudging this color out. All right, I think I may try to switch brushes and go into this one. Get that right on the tip. Yeah, this brush is working better. All right. So there we go. And then I'm going to take this little smudger brush and I'm going to go into Beskar Seal. Tap that off. I want to get this like right here. Right in the front. Alright, and then for the very inner corner, I think again, I'm just going to go into this Over Lust palette. <laughs> into this shade right here. And I'm gonna pop that right on the inner corner. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and catch up the other eye and then we'll be back for final thoughts. So this is the finished makeup look overall. Like at the very end, I'm happy with the look. However, it was a struggle to get here. Um, now, like I said, I did, you know, probably pick the most troublesome colors in this palette to use. I chose these two grays, these matte grays, this matte, like, brownish peachy shade, and then the silver here. Um, these two shadows perform just fine, like I'm used to with ColourPop, but these two really, really kind of just this, uh, this one shade here did give me some trouble. Now, you can see just from this one look, this palette does look pretty messy. I think that if you're using this exclusively, you're going to go through these colors pretty quickly. Having said that, this is a very, like, neutral type of a palette, um, definitely like a smoky eye lovers kind of dream in this palette. Um, I love these earthy tones. I love the um, green color here. I really want to dip into that and I love these browns. It'll be such a gorgeous brown smoky eye like and honestly if you look at it in rows these are kind of like um, little trios in themselves that you could do a look with. So I think that that's kind of cool how they laid that out. Um, I didn't even notice that until right now. But for $16, I mean, that is a really good price, even if you don't use this one shade. Um, I love the packaging. I love how compact it is. I would be fine traveling with this. I think it's a really fun collection. Um, and like I said, I do really like the finished look now. Um, it just took a little bit longer to work with than I'm used to with ColourPop shadows. So um, that is my review. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, just before we go, I'm wearing Whirl um, from MAC and Cream Cup on my lips. And then for my eyelashes for my mascara. I am using the Ilia. But yeah, that is it for me today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.